Welcome back, everyone. So the issue of how the maize and the National Assembly, the Senate is pre precisely the symbol of authority left the Senate who was taking the security in at the time. That's another issue, isn't it? But the legal angle to it, and perhaps some of the mystery, to how Senator Avia Omar who was suspended by his colleagues, got his way back, and some of those intruders are those unknown men got there, and what will be the implication? And that is what we are dissecting on the program tonight. My partner tonight is of Evans uh, Ofeli. He's a, a lawyer here in the Lagos studio. And Claudio Gunamisi from London. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time. Let's go back to some of the legal issue. Um, uh, Claudio was telling us about uh, some political perspective. But right now, is Senator Ovi Omagege in any legal trouble? Well, as an implication to what happened on the floor on that day. It's not in any legal trouble because uh, my position to this is not popular because I'm to speak law here, not what is in the newspaper, what Nigerians think or no, say. No morality. Yeah, no morality. To speak law. It's not any on a legal bondage because if you look at it, he came out to say, he released uh, an information that he came to the house because there is no existing law. There is no, nothing in the law that says a senator can be suspended by other House member. So that's on the ground. That is why, because he said he's, he, he listened so to it, his, it, his legal advice has told him. He might not be found culpable of uh, for intruding going into, the, into the chambers while being suspended. He's not culpable because the National Assembly have no right to suspend him for one day. You understand? As, as regards what transpired thereafter, that's a different case entirely. All right, let's look at the video. If my producer could help us play that video again, uh, so you can get a feel. I, I want to draw an inference there so that you can give some perspective to it. Okay, so if you look at it, um, perhaps to the beginning of uh, what transpired, when we saw Senator Ovio Magege and those unknown persons, where they were walking to the aisle of the Senate, um, perhaps this kind of thing that has happened, uh, that's happening here, uh, what kind of offense could this uh, be, be linked to? That kind of violence? Well, uh, if, you, if you look at what is going on there, you will discover that he came into the house, okay? But then we have not been able to, we are, we are not yet convinced as to whether he came with okay, these so people. Look at them, look at them, look at them, right there. Okay. So, and let's look at how this was. So, the man who took that mace. Yes. Could there, could there be a link to Senator Ovio Magege on this? He was following Senator Magege. Yeah. At, at the back. He was following him. Okay. Immediately, he sat down. The man took over and snatched the mace. But if you look at it from the eyes of the law, to get Senator Magege culpable, you must draw a nexus between him and that offense. What is the offense of taking the mace? It's an offense. It's stealing, right? <laughs> it's stealing. It's stealing. That is what it is. Okay. Because it is a separate so, and it's a authority. criminal offense. It's criminal. Stealing is criminal. Okay. And, and in fact, it is robbery. Okay. It is robbery, not is, is armed robbery. reasonable? It, of course, because when you take the scepter of authority away, you understand you have desecrated an arm of government, and an arm of government constitutes a part of the totality of government. You understand? So that is like an attack on the Nigerian government. So why is he seeking a restraining order? He's seeking a restraining order because the police, okay, have come up to you know, make attempt to arrest him, okay? Now he went to court, filed for a restraining order that he should not be arrested and release a president that he doesn't know those people who took, him, who, who took the, the maze. You understand? We see, you have to look at it critically. How difficult would that be to it is, it, it, in the court, in the law court, to prove that it doesn't know them? It's based on the preponderance of evidence. Okay. You All have right. to tender evidence to the fact the prosecution. There are video evidence, because we can see it on video, the CCTV camera. Yeah, that but, is, but, but, but that's Senator Ovi Omagege there, uh, seated there. I mean, he has other papers on his, uh, uh, on his lap. So let's get uh, Kaude into this conversation. Uh, we, we've been playing this video over and over again, and perhaps some people can even play it in their mind as much as because we played it so much that a lot of Nigerians can stick in their memories. Kaude, give me a sense of what you think about this, politically speaking. What happened yesterday? Rascality, morality legality in the realm of all of this what is your take 
I think it's a disgrace. It's a national shame that an arm of the Nigerian government uh, will be denigrated in such a manner. That is clear. And it is um, no arm of the, whether the executive, the judiciary, or the legislative organ should not be attacked. Remember in Ekiti State, the current governor, uh, then candidate uh, Ayoshe led talks into a court and denigrated the judiciary. All these actions do not speak well for our democracy. But having said that, the Senate in itself should not turn itself into a court where members of uh, senators and House of Representative members are not able to speak their mind, are not able to uh, oppose the leadership. Uh, when you talk about dictatorship, dictatorship does not translate just to the executive arm of government. If a Senate president clamps down or a gang of members in the Senate who are more like kitchen cabinet to the leadership of the Senate, uh, keep suspending members for expressing their opinions, for opposing views contrary to the views of the majority, then it will lead to a breakdown of, of, of all that. Uh, 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 Mr. Ogunami, tell us what do you think the implication will be? What transpired? Because look, in fact, there's a group that has been uh, that was disbanded by uh, the Senate uh, on, the, uh, at, on one of their plenaries. Uh, what do you think the implication might be, uh, politically speaking? Because there are some group in the Senate, some senators who are called the pro-Buhari senators, because of these uh, amendment bill issue is de degenerated into a whole lot of uh, uh, Buhari. So, what do you think may be the aftermath of this in the coming days? I think we, we uh, people will people state house of assembly members and people will look at this uh, this example in the Senate and they start acting like this. People will snatch maize. They say this is the way to get attention. Uh, this the banning people for belonging to an association is is unconstitutional. People have a right to association to associate themselves to call themselves pro or anti buari In the U.S., where we borrow this system of government, we have senators, we have lawmakers who form groups. They can tag themselves in any shape or form. So it is it is unlawful. It is undemocratic for the leadership of the Senate to say senators and legislators cannot form caucuses and cannot name themselves in whatever way they wish to. All right. What would be wrong is for them to now say that they would want to sabotage the legislative arm of government in favor of the executive branch of government. All right. Uh, thank you, Kaladi. Let me give you about 30 seconds just to be random to program because we're out of time. What do you think could be a possible implication, the worst case scenario? Well, the, 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 the law is already established, okay? Section 68 of the Constitution is where I started from. I already laid it down. No, you cannot suspend a senator on this ground, okay? And we also have judicial authorities, and the judicial authorities are trite unchallenged. So that is the position of the law. Now, if you want even to look at the issue it, of separation of powers. What, what, is, what is his crime, really, Senator? What is his crime? Um, right. Margaret, what is his crime, really? Because he formed the group and all that. We need to, so we, we have to go. Time is not on our side. Mm. We've got to go now. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Kaudi Ogunamisi from London. Thank you for your time. Uh, Mr. Uh, Evans uh, Ufeli, uh, lawyer, thank you so much for thank coming you. on the program. Yeah. That's our show for today, everyone. Many thanks uh, for being part of the show. It's a Friday, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.